This is Debian 9 Stretch, which has just reached stable status. And this is the GNOME 3.22 desktop. Let me say that I first tried to use the live editions. There's a live disk for all of the major desktops. And I downloaded the one for XFCE, and I downloaded the one for GNOME. And while the live session worked well in both cases, I could not actually install the system from the live disks, either from within the live session or from the install option before the live session loaded. It simply would not install from the live disks. So I downloaded the larger installation disk, which contains several different desktops, GNOME, KDE, MATE, Cinnamon, XFCE, LXDE, etc. And there I had the usual problem that I've had every time I've tried to install Debian. The so-called graphical installer didn't work at all because it wouldn't recognize my touchpad and I couldn't move the pointer. So I went back to the old-fashioned installer and it worked, except that as usual when I tried to install Grub on a remote drive, and there's an option for doing that, it just didn't install Grub properly and it wouldn't load. So I had to go to my internal system to install Grub. Now this is how I was able to reinstall Grub. I went into my internal system, which happens to be Zubuntu 17.04 at the moment, and I booted up that system, and then I plugged in my external drive, which had the external system on partition SDB1. And I opened a terminal, and I entered the following commands, sudo space mount space slash dev slash sdb1 space slash mnt. That mounted my partition in which I expected to find the grub images. Then I entered the next command, sudo space grub hyphen install space hyphen hyphen boot hyphen directory equals slash mnt slash boot space slash dev slash sdb and that installed grub on the root directory of my external drive. When I was running the installer, I used a wired connection because I knew from experience that Debian would have a hard time with my wireless connection during installation. However, once I had GNOME installed, the wireless connection worked fine. And as you can see, there it is. I'm not going to change anything. I'm using Simple Screen Recorder, which I installed from the repository. However, I had trouble installing it with GNOME software, which is here. Seems to be working better now, but I couldn't summon it earlier. I installed it from the terminal. I also had trouble installing it with the Synaptic Package Manager. Now it has a pretty good selection of software. Some of it is common in almost all Linux distributions, but some is not. It comes with Firefox, ESR, uh, which 
just appeared recently for Debian. And it comes with GIMP, which uh, is not available by default in either Fedora or Ubuntu GNOME. Inkscape, it has the full LibreOffice suite. It's divided between two screens here. But it's not particularly up to date. This version 5.2.7.2, so it's not anywhere near the latest version. And that will be typical of anything you find in Debian Stable. came with the tweak tool already installed and I've used it. Here's the tweak tool. As you can see I've already enabled the global dark theme and I've installed the maximize and minimize buttons on the windows. Maximize, minimize. Otherwise it works pretty much as standard GNOME. Now this version is supported for five years which is new to Debian and for people who want a very old stable release running for a long time without having to upgrade it, that would be perfect. I would say certain commercial applications, certain running processes which people don't want to interrupt to have to upgrade their system, that would be fine. For the average desktop user, hobbyist, etc., this would get a bit stale after five years. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.